All right, we're out here at Berkeley Prep to talk some Berkeley Prep football. Obviously, I'm here with head coach Dominic Sayo. Coach, whenever you get done with a year, you look back and think about the things you could have done a little bit better as a team. When you look and going forward into 2011, what are the things that the 2010 Buccaneers have to do a little bit better in 2011? Well, I think we got to, uh, one thing we got to do is uh, close out games. You know, we lost a couple games late in the fourth quarter, lost the game in the playoffs. Uh, uh, for district championship in uh, overtime, you know, and, uh, you know, couldn't get it done. And I think that's something that we have to you have to do, you know, finish, you know, uh, for 2011. You know, a lot of teams have a, a very good senior wide receiver or a very good senior quarterback or a very good senior running back. You happen to be blessed with all three. Talk about uh, what it's like working with these kids. Is it ever tough to have enough footballs to go around? Well, uh, we got uh, a lot of unselfish players. You know, our quarterback's been starting since ninth grade, and uh, our receiver's been starting since ninth grade, and tailback uh, uh, Destin and Nelson. And then we have uh, Tyler uh, Davis started as a tight end and defensive end as a ninth grader, and uh, along with Reggie Barnes. So those four kids have been with us since uh, ninth grade, you know. Um, so uh, we're, they're experienced, you know, and then along with uh, – uh, we feel we got a great linebacker in Skylar Miles and uh, a big time player in uh, Christian Hardigree who's uh, played well, and uh, along with a punter that's a, been going to be a huge weapon for us in Justin Vogel. Now you've been coaching for a while. I'm sure you've had some teams that were a little on the younger side. How much easier is it to coach a team? Or I don't know if I want to say easier, but how much does it help having that kind of senior leadership to almost be coaches on the field for some of those younger kids that you do have? Yeah, we have a super senior class, you know, great leaders and great competitors, and uh, that's what they're going to have to do. It's their team, and uh, uh, they're going to be great leaders for us, you know, so we're, we're excited about that. All right, we're out here at Berkeley Prep to talk about Berkeley Buccaneer football. Standing here with senior wide receiver and cornerback Christian Hardigree. Christian, talk about what you expect from this team this year. I mean, a lot of senior leadership with yourself, Destin, Nelson. I mean, you guys really are uh, set up pretty well for a good run this year. Yes, sir. I mean, we've been working hard all the off season and all the three years prior together, and it's really about time to do something. So a lot of expectations, very high. You know, each year you kind of finish the year and, and look at what you did better, but also look at what you could do better. What was it after last year that you said, you know what, I'm going to work on this over the off season, and I'm going to be better in 2011 at this particular thing than I was in 2010? I think just the overall aspect of the game in every position, uh, just work hard every day. And uh, team-wise, just finishing games, because last year we lost a couple games late, so I think we all need to finish. Now, something stuck out to me a moment ago here while we were getting ready. You said, no more rain. Looks like I might get to practice. I love that attitude. I like hearing a kid say, I might get to, not I might have to. Talk about uh, how the day-to-day -day is, is, is something that you love, not just game day, but practice. It really is. Uh, senior year, days are coming to an end. So, I mean, really taking every day for everything I have right here. Just making memories every day and just loving it. Great attitude. Again, Christian Hardigree, Berkeley Prep, wide receiver and cornerback. We'll be seeing a lot of him this year right on TampaLiveSports.com. Christian, thank you. Thank you. All right, I'm standing here with senior quarterback, Berkeley senior quarterback, Destin Nichols. Destin, I was talking to Coach earlier. You know, I just got done talking to Christian. Something I haven't heard out of a lot of younger football players, but I seem to see it here at Berkeley Prep. He said, looks like it stopped raining. I get to practice now. Uh, talk about how much you guys enjoy practice and the day-to-day -day and just getting better as a team and not just uh, game day. Yeah, our, uh, our practices here are awesome. You know, we, got, we had to practice in the gym yesterday, and we were obviously limited. I mean, we pretty much just ran for two hours, which, I mean, no one likes doing that. It got us in, it's getting us in condition, but uh, out here on the field, there's nothing like it. I mean, my best high school memories are out here on the field and getting able, uh, being able to prepare and everything is uh, is nice. You know, we, uh, we have a game plan that we started out with at the beginning of the week and to see it develop out on the field on Friday nights is, is a, it's a great feeling. The theme, I think, at this camp seems to be finish. Finish, yes, sir. We. Uh, we uh, last year the Fort Meade game we were tied, went into halftime we didn't finish that game. Also in the playoff game against them we didn't finish in the the game Lake Highland we were also tied late in the game and we didn't finish that game. And that's been the motto of the last few years is to finish. I mean we we've we've uh, we've had some close games and uh, the games that we have lost we just haven't been able to finish them. So that's that's always a theme here is to finish the games. You know, like I said, just got done talking to Christian Hardigree. 
Nelson Nelson Aguilar is here as well as yourself. Talk about uh, being able to grow as a unit, you guys, you know, a, a wide receiver and a tailback that you've grown up through school with. How big is that as a quarterback? I think it's a, a big thing because one thing that's uh, it's overlooked in football is chemistry. You know, a lot of a lot of people have misconception is we're just big meatheads, which which I mean it's true it's true, but <laughs> but uh, uh, it's it's all about chemistry. This game is all about being together, and it's about chemistry. And I, I think one of the big things you know that's overlooked in a lot of successful teams is uh, when someone's on the ground, you pick them up, and the unsuccessful teams don't have that, and that's something we have here. And I think I think that's a big part of it. And I know I, I've known some guys since uh, sixth or seventh grade. And growing up with them, it just it makes us tighter. And also the guys outside. Outside of that, you know, when when they come into our uh, our little circle, it makes them feel more close to us as well. You know, another thing that uh, seems to be a theme amongst successful football teams is a leader at quarterback. Talk about how much you enjoy being a leader at quarterback. Not just that. I mean, we've seen you on the baseball field on Tampa Live Sports as well, uh, and, and you lead there as well. We saw you before the game leading. We saw you during the game leading. Talk about how much being a leader means to you as a quarterback. Being a leader is everything, you know, and uh, when you win a game, you're a hero. And when you lose a game, you know, you're the one that lost the game. And uh, I love having that. I love having that pressure. Uh, I think I play better under pressure personally. And it honestly it means everything to me. I like, I like knowing that the guys can count on number nine. And, and that's, that's something that drives me. That drives me not only out on the field, but in the weight room, knowing that they're going to look back at me and I'm the one that's talking in the huddle. It means, it means a lot to me, and I hope it means a lot to them. And that's what drives me to get that extra lap in or get that extra rep in. And it, I, I think that's my main motivation, really, is to know that these guys, you know, they need someone to lead them. And I'm not saying I'm the, I'm the you know, the guy, but I think that being being one of the in the position that I am, you have to be able to have yeah. that quality. And I think that's that's a main motivation for my, myself. All right, lastly, before we let you go, Destin, uh, you know, each year you kind of look back and everyone loves to look at the things they did well, but everyone has to look at the things that they need to improve on. When you look back at 2010, what was the one thing that kind of stuck out and you said, you know what, in 2011, I'm going to do this better than I did it in 2010? Uh, I think I need to get better feet. I mean, I've been working on the offseason. Just get my feet work better, make better reads, obviously, you know, and uh, also being able to bounce back from adversity. You know, uh, last year, in the playoff game, I think I threw two interceptions against Fort Meade. And not saying I didn't bounce back well, but I feel like I could do a lot better. You know what I mean? And uh, just being able to react to the situation a lot better and being able to, you know, again with our motto is finish. When we get that turnover, happened in the spring game, when we get that turnover on the 10-yard line, we got to be able to put it in. You know, field goal is a lot different than a touchdown. You know, that's four-point four, four, four separation. That could win or lose a game right there. So I think uh, – those are three main things, my feet work, get better reads, and uh, being able to finish or, you know, have that, that it factor of getting it in the end zone. All right, here with Destin Nichols, senior quarterback for the Berkeley Buccaneers. Destin, thanks for your time. Yes, sir. All right, I'm standing here with senior fullback and linebacker Skylar Miles. Skylar, talk about 2011 and the Buccaneers, you know, talking to a couple of guys already and talking to your head coach. The theme seems to be finish in 2011. Yes, sir. That's the most thing he tells us to concentrate on. And whatever, we're not going to be the biggest team. We're not going to be the fastest. We've got to work hard and be the most conditioned and finish. And from last year, we lost two games because we didn't finish in the fourth quarter. So every year, we usually have that happen. So we just try to work hard and improve that. Now, when you look at yourself as a football player, you look at 2010, everyone likes to look back at the things they did well, but you also have to look back at the things you need to improve on a little bit. Uh, as a linebacker in general, when you look back at 2010, is there anything that you say, you know what, that's the one thing that I really want to improve on going into the 2011 season? Well, mainly since I'm a senior that now, I want to just be the leader of my team, leader of the defense. I'm the quarterback of the defense, so I want to take control and, of course, play well. And when my teammates get down, I want to pick them up never have any negative energy around and just work hard. And that's the most important thing. Talk about this senior group a little bit from yourself to Destin to Nelson, Christian. I mean, you guys have some kind of senior group here in Berkeley. Yeah, so we've been together. This is going to be our third year. And some of them are going to be four, but I transferred here. So it's going to be our third year together. I actually played uh, Little League football with Destin and Christian. So it's been a long time since we played. And uh, we just got a strong group right now. we got about 15 seniors right now. So. We're just all hoping to get our team right and together and hopefully go far in the playoffs in the state championship. 
you know, talking to some of the guys here, there's something you don't hear at a lot of football practices, and that's guys that want to go practice. Uh, talk about the, the team and how you guys like to get out there on a day-to-day -day basis and just grow as a team and just get better. Yes, sir. For our kids, we all love practice. We all think it's real fun, and we never want to miss a day. Like, we missed earlier practice today because it was raining. We are all bummed out. So we like practice. We like to have fun. we got a good chemistry together, and we just play football and just do what we got to do. All right, I'm here with senior running back and free safety, Nelson Aguilar here from Berkeley Prep. Everybody talks about you being a standout at running back, but talk about the defensive side of the ball and, and free safety. And you know That's one of the positions on the football field that a guy likes to be, find the ball and kill it. I mean, uh, here we do whatever we can do to win. And me playing defense is, is something that I think has really helped us for many years. And the fact that we have so many uh, two-way players really just is a tribute to our toughness here. So it doesn't really matter. I mean, wherever you play, the goal is to win. However you win, you, you just got to do it. Take it. Now, a lot of young men that find themselves in your shoes, uh, possibly going to a big-time college in a year from now, they tend to focus on one sport. They really want to focus on the sport that they're going to, you know, probably go to college and play. But you like to play basketball as well. Talk about how playing basketball as well as football keeps you well-rounded, maybe even helps a little bit with the fluidity. I mean, it's all about uh, being a competitor. I mean, I play sports to compete, and every day I'm out there, is I'm up for the challenge. I mean, the, I think the best athletes are those that just don't limit themselves. It's the ones that go out to find who claims to be the, the best and goes and competes with them. And that's that's what I do. I keep on doing it. Now, between yourself, Destin, Christian Hardigy, we just talked to Skylar Miles, pretty good senior group over here. Talk about the leadership that you guys have and how it helps the younger kids as well. Man, this this is this is the best I think. I think the best group of guys I've ever been around. I mean, I've had some seniors earlier when I was a freshman and throughout the year that were just great people. But I tell you, growing up with these guys and going through all these all the hard times and the good times, these guys is what's really going to set us over the top. It's about 13 or 14 of us in the senior class, and every guy I think has something to bring to the table, whether it's in a leadership role. But it's silent leader, lead by example, however you, whatever you say, just we're going to get it done. And we got some young guys that can lead just as well. All right, I think I know the answer to this, but I'm going to ask you anyways. Slam dunk, blowing somebody up on defense, or touchdown? The win. <laughs> Neither of those three. I mean, slam dunk, if it's just two points. It's exciting play. It's great. A big hit to exciting play is great. I mean, they're all momentum changes, but at the end of the day, <laughs> the, the game, every sport is all about it's just a change of momentum, different runs. But at the end of the day, the guys that win are the, is the most important, no matter how you do it. How about that? I mean, we've, we've talked to some kids with great attitudes today, and he doesn't really care which one of the plays he does. It's the W that's important. Here with Nelson Aguilar from Berkeley Prep, I'm Pat Donovan, and uh, thanks again. Thanks, sir.